Hey guys, Ninyosh here, and today we are about to start the new Tiny Tina Assault on Dragon Keep DLC. Now, for the loadout, the loadout that I have, I have four Northfleets. Uh, the B, Chain Lightning Grenade Mod, the Fatality Relic, and Legendary Soldier Class Mod. Now, I have four Northfleets for the reason of... Say I'm in, there's a lot of people around me and I don't have enough time to reload. I can just switch to any other one and then continue on as if nothing happened. But I prefer running through DLCs with the North Fleet because they are super fast and really efficient. And we're going to go start the DLC. I'm assuming that it is the unassuming docks because I've never been there and I'm correct. Alright, so the unassuming docks of little importance. Alright. Let's start it. Um, I'm not too sure what to expect, to be honest. I know it's going to be pretty good. I have high expectations for it. I just hope it was not completely, like, overdone or underdone. Alright. The Vault Hunters play the game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand, here and now, we gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. <coughs> Alright, so it looks like they're playing a board game. <clears throat> Alright, this is the intro that was released to us a while ago. Bunkers and badasses! But yeah, they changed the name to, uh, what, Bunkers and Badasses for, like, legal reasons, I believe it was. I'm pretty sure it, it was legal reasons. Well, our vault hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs. I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Necromancer, the Commando, the Siren. Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl, you know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not... That's awkward. Anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, sucker! Alright. Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. Okay, so where the hell are we? Whoa. This place used to be really nice until the handsome sorcerer messed everything. I say we head toward the town to investigate. <laughs> Go to Flame Rock Today Refugee. Refuge afar. All right. Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? I want to see where we are on the map. All right, so it's our it's the own little island. The DLC uh, area is its own little island. Okay. And the whole area kind of smells like butt. That works as well. Kind of smells like butt. Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of skellymans. They start shooting at you. All right, for those of you guys that do not know, the North Fleet, you do not need a direct hit with it. If you hit anywhere near the enemy, it will attack the enemy and it can hit multiple enemies as well. So it's really good for running through like DLCs or or a bunch of enemies really fast without having to concentrate on killing each one individually, which is exactly why I'm using it. Alright. Also, I have a modded skill tree, so I run quite fast. Handsome dragon. Okay. Throw it on my turret. Does he not take damage? I probably should have brought another gun besides this. Yeah, he's definitely not taking damage. I should have hit him before. Start your campaign with a boss fight. All right, yeah, we can't kill him. Okay, everybody back up. All right, that works. He's dead. Okay, how about a new boss? A new boss, a skeleton boss. Skeleton. All right, um, also, I cannot hear the game since I am uh, talking through the headset. I did not want to have an echo go through, so I am not listening to the game. 
so I might not be aware of all the stuff they are talking about, but I will be, I will do my best to watch the subtitle. What is this? Alright. Don't want those. Continue to Flame Rock Refugee. Alright, so it looks like we have new, uh, new monsters, or new, uh, uh, yeah, monsters. There's skeletons. I know there's an orc or an ogre or something like that later on in the game and there's fairies as well all right so how far is this place not very far what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this up into three separate parts depending on how long this DLC is uh, they'll probably be around 25 minutes each so if you if you do not want to watch the whole thing you can just skip around and uh, go to the parts that you do want to watch smash them all right okay I do not need ammo all right let's go flame rock refugee um, all right Gonna check my phone really quick. Alright. Do I have any badass points I can spend? Yes. I do not know why, but my badass rank got reset before. That's happened quite a while, or quite a few times throughout the past while. Stop playing this game. Let's talk to some town folk. The grand idea. Talk to town folk. All right. The queen has gone missing. Maybe the queen hath, hath. Um, you will never see the sun again. That sounds very reassuring. Okay, let's go. Find Eleanor. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Bodyguard? What bodyguard? Put a piece on the board. Blam! Oh, Ellie. Cool. I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> Hello, madam. Is something the matter? The queen is missing! She went into the forest to bring the light back to the world! So where'd she go? She said something You might want to put off a few pounds there, bud. That must be where she's Eat a little less or do whatever, but you're kinda big there. Damn. Alright, um... Where do we go? Also, what I'm going to do is right before I beat the DLC, normally throughout uh, the other DLCs that have been released, at the end when you are beating it, uh, there is usually a treasure room or something of the sort like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to kind of like predict when the ending is happening, and I'm going to save it right there and then make a game save that you guys can download. That way you can you can continuously beat the DLC in hopes of getting a better reward each time. I'm not guaranteeing that because I might forget or something might come up, but I will try my best. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, man. Whoop! Time out. I gotta take this. This Tina. <coughs> Tina, put me in the game. Mr. Torg. Okay. Okay. Now Mr. The gatekeeper is Mr. Torg. All right. So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude to get past me. First task. Blow up the village scouting blimps. Because reasons. <laughs> What blimp? Where are they? What? Oh god.
the hell? How do I close for your safety? Can I make that jump? I'm gonna try to take off my grenade grenade mod and try this. Alright, I gotta throw some crap down. <sighs> this might take a while. Alright, hold up. Alright, that's enough room. Oh shit. Okay, now take that off. Alright, so now that I'm over here... Oh, what? Really? All I had to do is that... Did I just jump over... Yeah, I think I did. That was pointless and... Useless and pointless again. Might as well kill myself and be done with it. Alright, so yeah. All you had to do was destroy the little thingy that was hold holding down the blimp. Fail. Alright, now... I'm kind of wondering what the whole storyline is going to be about. Because it's called Assault on Dragon Keep. And we already saw one dragon in the game. But it was taken out because it was too overpowered. And that was Tiny Tina's fault. So, yeah. Destroy the village's only way to see approaching threats. We had no reason to do All right, that. Alright, now what? Alright, badass task two. Go to the town tavern. Go to the tavern. Okay. A role playing game. Alright. Um, let's see here. Wait, this town doesn't have a tavern. Are there any characters that we've seen so far or recognized besides Ellie and obviously Tina and Mordecai and uh, uh, Siren or no, Maya and Brick? Like, I'm not sure if there's any other characters from the campaign. Well, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I can know. I don't know. Alright, that was pointless and going all the way around. Has a problem. Talk to her. Hey, baby. hey adventurer, like it's closing time, monsters. but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. No, okay. So, that was easy. Are you not dead yet? Are you kidding me? That was really stupid. Die. Alright, well I killed myself. That's one of the downsides of the North Fleet. Or any rocket launcher in that matter. You can easily blow yourself up. Like, really, really, really easily. Like, really easy. Alright, I'm up. I'm gonna re-equip my grenade mod and let's go. I'm really curious to see how the last boss or the last guy that you fight is going to turn out because the Tiny Tina can just change all the stuff around as she wishes. So I don't know how that's going to work out. Sprite Orange because that body is legendary. Yeah. There we go. What's over here? Ooh. Acceptable. Chase him. Slot machine. Punch him so hard he explodes. Three teacups. And I got a booster shield. I wonder what's what. Like, I know. Oh. Also. I remember hearing something about a chest that you can. Whoa. What? Okay. What? Ten. I am so confuzzled right now. 
confuzzlement at its highest. I want to try that again. Another dice got iridium there. What I get? Seventeen. All right. This seems pretty interesting. I was just about to mention the dice and how, like, on chest, it's like that as well. I assume that if you get three rainbows, you get a legendary or a seraph weapon. Oh, not just a lot of money. Okay. I don't know if I'm getting lucky or if this is like easy to do, but I don't know. I'll just play one last time, then I'll start leaving. All right, nothing there. I'm not doing pretty bad. I got two blue weapons, one purple weapon. And even more money. What the hell? I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it's really easy right now. If they're gonna patch you, make it harder. But that seems pretty easy. Easy to me. I think. I think I got the money jackpot twice. The little rainbow stuff. I got a 17 on the dice. Not bad. All right, where do I go? I have to follow... Do I have to kill him? No, I have to knife him, don't I? <sighs> nerd! You're a nerd! He runs faster than you. Not unless I kill something, and then I can run even faster, but there's nothing here to kill. Come on, no... Oh damn! Tina, this makes no sense. Torg is Whoa. ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Okay. I am badass enough to survive the forest. Thank you, Mr. Torg. I will be on my way now. Alright, enter forest and find the queen. Right now, I'm not going to be doing any of the side missions. I am going to be sticking to the storyline, the main storyline for right now. And then I will do the side missions after. I'm called Davlin the Gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. That was easy enough. I shall meet you inside. Off to the forest. Now, I also re remember seeing something about fairies, and that's what I assume that the friendship is about. But I could easily be wrong about this. That's a good brownie. That's a really good brownie. Oh, I love brownies. All right, let's go. The forest of tranquility. Boring. Boring. Yes. Okay, good point. The hell? Now I gotta come up with a better name for the. The hell? What? Why is there a guy hanging there? Whatever. Find the queen. Okay. Creants. Oh, okay, these things look really powerful. Or did I kill it? Oh, it's dead. Never mind. I lied. You find a jewel on the ground. Maybe the queen left it to mark the crook. Then we should follow the jewels. That leads us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily style said. Just stick to the main road and you'll be ace. This 
poor as grew from the corpses of my enemies. Isn't that a kick in the ass? Hey, maybe after I kill you, a fern will grow out of your body or something. People like ferns. You ever notice that? Yeah, fairy, see? Oh, fly close to me. Did I catch it? Yeah, I did. I think. Yep. I should. Do I have? Yep. Alright. I remember seeing that each fairy gives you a little boost. I This one gives you a speed boost. I can tell because I'm running a lot faster. Now, something else. Wait, what? Do you have to... Wait, where did... What? Spider. Um, where is this... Where is the fairy? Whatever. I'm gonna get out of here. I believe the queen went this way. Curses. A dead end. Gavin or Davin? Davin. Alright. A dead end. Alright. We'll deal with it. This is orcish right now. This is probably so far one of my favorite DLCs compared to the other two, or, or other three. The other three were like, they were alright, but this one seems the really like the most creative, and I like that, so, yeah. Blood, blood fruits. Okay. This is the part where you encounter the orc. Yeah, that's what I thought. I remember seeing this on uh, one of the other videos that was released by Gearbox or IGN. Can't cannot remember which one. Oh my God, this thing is strong. Um, I know that you can like spawn a. Uh, holy shit! Man, die. I know you can like spawn in like or no, they don't spawn. Well, yeah, like how uh, Goliaths will change from like a regular one. To badass, to super badass, to ultimate, to uh, fatal god lion. I'm pretty sure you can do that with orcs as well, but I'm not positive. Well, actually, I know you can, but I'm not. I'm not sure which one that you can do it with. Am I supposed to kill you or no? I'm not sure. I'll just kill you anyways. Warlord Grub. I assume that he's one of the bosses that might drop, say, like a Legendary or a Seraph or something. Is he taking any, any damage? Yeah. <laughs> it probably would have been smart to bring a, a Sandhawk with me. Alright, what'd you drop? I'll just kill all you guys first, and then, yeah. He dropped a blue and a green. Another Strength Relic. And then some other. Oh, what's over here? Um, another strength relic. Oh, okay. Rubberized fire burst. Uh, we got some stuff everywhere, pretty much. Your basic loot, though, nothing special. Nothing special. So Michael, I have to go find three blood fruits. Not sure where to find those, but I will try and follow this thing. Am I going the right right way? No. Also, for anybody that's made it this far, I applaud you. But um, what is your favorite character in Borderlands 2, or who is your favorite character? Personally, my favorite is Tiny Tina, only because she is such a badass. One, she's a badass. Two, she is the most creative. And three, she's so freaking awesome, period. Whoa, you didn't say the blood fruit grew on the tree ants. Well, they did. I need to get. Did I get it? I got two. I got three. Okay. Get it without killing the tree while well, the thing's gonna die, anyways. What? Where they. What? Where'd that go? I could have swore I just saw a blue. Oh, here it is. Okay. Damn it, man. Alright, I'm back up. What'd you drop? Nothing. Alright. 
I'm leaving now. Go back to da to Davlin. Who's shooting me? Is that the ferry? Yeah, it is. I gotta catch you. Damn it, stop moving. But yeah, so I am assuming that the friendship relic did I drop it? Might might have. Yeah, I did. The friendship relic that uh I showed you guys in the other video two days ago. I'm almost positive that that affects your relationship with the fairies. I assume that better friendship means that they won't try to kill you 24-7, which is good. I want to find one of those chests that have the little dicey, on, dicey thingy on them. I want to try my luck. Okay. That's weird. There's a fairy right behind me, but I can't catch it. Oh, what? Are you helping me now? Okay. She's helping me now. That's good. I'm gonna let off all these Northly bullets and hopefully kill something. You run really fast when you have both effects stacked up. Okay. Where are we going here? Uh, Immortal Woods. Alright guys, so it has been 26 minutes. So I am going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, part 3, will, or no, part 2 will be up in like 10 minutes. I'm going to upload it straight after this one. So be sure to check that out. I will also put an annotation on the screen. So click that to go to part 2.